Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Today we're in Vincennes, Indiana, visiting President William Henry Harrison's homestead to view the Beyond the Bluegrass American Long Rifle exhibit. You'll notice as you view each of these rifles, along with the name placard, there's a QR code on the screen there. Pause the video if you have a moment and scan that QR code. Each rifle in this exhibit has an audio commentary describing some of the history of the maker and at times the specific rifle on display. It's incredibly professionally done. You're gonna get a lot more out of this by pausing the video, scanning that QR code with your phone and checking out some of that audio commentary. It's a fantastic addition to this display. This exhibit runs through the end of November, November 30th, 2023. So if you are viewing this before that date, you still have time. And I absolutely encourage you to take the trip to Vincennes, Indiana, to the Grouseland Mansion to check out this wonderful exhibit and the rest of this fantastic historic site. Author Jeff Yeager has this to say about Beyond the Bluegrass, a tribute to William Henry Harrison and makers of the American Long Rifle. The tribute to Harrison comes in the form of the American Long Rifle exhibit that will take place in the receiving parlor of his Philadelphia-influenced brick mansion built from 1801 to 1804 on the east bank of the Wabash River in Vincennes, Indiana. Visitors will see how the cultural and artistic refinements of the American Long Rifle came westward with Harrison and his time. Grouseland will host the exhibit of artistic and historic rifles that were made by Indiana gun makers between 1800 and 1880 in the same room where Harrison received Native American chiefs and negotiated land treaties. More than 20 rifles, including Indiana's State Rifle by John Small, will be displayed, enabling guests to view the firearms with a 360-degree viewpoint. The rifles chosen for the display have historic or artistic merit. Some have engraved patch boxes and inlays, while others have relief or incised carving. A few of the rifles are unadorned full stocks, but exhibit regional architecture and have historical significance. Author and historian Jeff Yeager goes on to say, Beyond the Bluegrass commemorates the sacrifices and contributions William Henry Harrison made for his country and the long rifle's role during those times. One such contribution includes his negotiated treaties that ceded the lands of Illinois and southern Indiana to the United States. When diplomacy by the pen failed, he risked his life at the battles of Fallen Timbers, Tippecanoe, Fort Meigs, and the Thames River, and was consistently victorious. His army's primary tools were muzzle-loading firearms. This exhibit is graciously sponsored by the Kentucky Rifle Foundation, the National Muzzleloading Rifle Association, and the Indiana Antique Arms Collectors Association.
I understand that many of you won't be able to make it to Grouseland, and I truly did my best here to try to give you a look into this event, but I seriously encourage you, if you can make it to Vincennes before the end of November of 2023, you've got to make it and check out this exhibit. It's truly incredible. I spent several hours just looking at the rifles by themselves before touring the rest of the Grouseland Mansion. And it made for just an incredible day of Indiana history and, and appreciation. Walking through the halls, going through the upstairs and seeing some of the portions where you can still see tool marks on the doors and on the walls. It was just incredible. Just like we can see tool marks on these original Indiana rifles, we can see it in the architecture of the Grouseland Mansion here. And it just it's overwhelming it just it brings you into that period it brings you into that history it's just incredible you've got to try to make it if you can i know this was a longer video for us here it's a much slower paced video but i, I really tried to to do this display justice and do each of these rifles justice with this. I'd like to thank each of the organizational sponsors for making this happen. The Kentucky Rifle Foundation, the National Muzzleloading Rifle Association, and the Indiana Antique Arms Collectors Association. I'd also like to thank Jeff Yeager, who kept me abreast of this event and this collection uh, coming into happening, um, which was really exciting, knowing that it was a possibility and then hearing that it had happened. Um, Jeff actually met me at Grouseland here so we could go through in detail and discuss each of these amazing pieces. It was fantastic to see Jeff uh, actually working with some of the public attendees that were there just viewing the historic site, describing a little bit of the Indiana's muzzleloading history to people that were in attendance. That uh, It was interesting because there were folks that came into Grouseland that day checking out some of the historic site, checking out the rifles that hunt with modern inline muzzleloaders and hadn't had a lot of exposure to the traditional side of things. And they got a fantastic tour from Jeff of Indiana's muzzleloading history. 
I'd also like to thank the Grouseland Executive Director, Lisa Ice Jones, for being so welcoming uh, to my request to come and film the display and just her warm presence during our time at Grouseland. It was fantastic. She was able to show us some wonderful little niche areas of the site and, and walk us through some of what Grouseland has to offer. Uh, we've got another video in the works right now featuring some of those historic details in a small tour for you to follow along with just because it's such a history filled site there's not a square inch of the place that isn't touched somehow by history it's really incredible and i saw the rifles in the morning the afternoon we spent going through the grouseland mansion and driving home it was hard to pick which aspect i liked more the long rifle display or the tour of the house. So I'm excited to bring that to you here in a few weeks. Thank you again, Lisa, for accommodating us so much and being so welcoming It's truly appreciated. As I said before, this exhibit runs through November 30th, 2023 at the Grouseland Mansion in Vincennes, Indiana. I'll have some more information in the video description as well as at I Love Muzzleloading. Dot com for you to learn more. Once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.